Okay. Welcome to Crafty Music Tips. If this is your first time ever on the Crafty Music Tips YouTube channel, I hope that you enjoy your stay. Yes, of course, this is a behind the sounds video for the song Disco Inferno. And the brand Sing It Live is Darren Mullins' baby. He does ever such a great job. And so before I get into the song specifics, what does a guy like that need to do for a song to be able to happen? He needs to first decide on the song and then obviously make sure that he's got some musicians that can go and join him in his studio and make sure that they're available all at the same time. And so that, of course, happened for this song. And then, you know, there are many things that he needs to juggle. It's actually quite amazing, if you think about it, that he's orchestrating all of this and getting it all to be able to happen at that time. And so... Here's one of many things that he needs to concern himself with. Should we go for one? Yeah, man. In, in the, down the barrel, you're in the shot, just to check that you are. You have a spotlight on you. Spotlight sort of, I think, I think that sort of is when, I had it here when you went burn, baby. But, but oh, yeah, went, yeah, cool, cool. So, yeah, he's obviously concerned with, you know, the visual as well as the sound, the, the audio that he's recording. And so there's not just him in the room. There's a lot of wonderful musicians. They're great at their instrument. And the bastards have got great voices too. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. <laughs> All right, and are we doing the... Um... <clears throat> now, of course, there's a bunch of you that are probably familiar with the fact that I am a multi-instrumentalist, and so, yes, in this particular song, I got the Guernsey of playing the trumpet. And so one of the other people that was there playing horns with me was Lachlan, and I'd never met him before. And I noticed straight away, not only was he a great player, he was also very good to work with. The, the very first, like, hit thing. We so have to go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah, good question. Uh, I feel like this song is totally is the groove in it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and that's one of the things that happens a lot during a sing it live session is that you know we're not the same people there every week. We haven't necessarily performed the song before, especially not in this situation with those people. And so Lachlan was great at doing what everybody's really good at, is just figuring out what is the best thing to do at the time. And the way that he communicates it is very clear and it's in a friendly manner. I was just thinking, do we get rid of the last bit? Should we just go, bum, bum? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, because that's what everybody Sorry. else is doing. Let's Again, do that. Ready, ready for all right, all right, all right, all right. Enough about all the other wonderful people. What about me? Hopefully, if you know me by now, that's definitely a joke. I feel very humbled to be in the room with such wonderful people. But yeah, it is the first time that I've been able to play trumpet. Hopefully not the last. <laughs> but yeah, so I have done a bunch of different other instruments in a bunch of different other songs. But yeah, I feel very lucky and, might I say, honoured if that doesn't come across too ingenuous. But yeah, like Darren's asking me to do a different instrument that is used to me doing and it had its challenges because I will be very honest, I am quite rusty on the trumpet. How it started for me on the trumpet wasn't actually as a kid, like some people presume. I was well into my 20s and... I had the opportunity of being asked to come on board playing regularly with a local band, sort of local to my area in the Barossa Valley, called the Valley Cats. And so the wonderful thing about that, not only was it an opportunity for me to cut my teeth, but like Darren, he's a little bit older than me, and I get this wonderful opportunity where guys that have been on the earth longer than what I have, and it's a, a very endearing thing that they welcome me into their space to hang out with them and play music with them. And especially in this particular case, I wasn't a trumpet player. And so I 
learnt fast and myself and my mate Andrew who was the sax player that I played alongside with a lot of the time we learnt a lot together and so it was a wonderful opportunity to be able to have that so that I had that behind me so that then Darren could then ask me for this particular situation. So any instruments that you don't play? Any instruments you don't play? Yes, sing. trumpet and... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and definitely don't sing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's the word. Uh, All right, now in the Sing It Live recording session at the time, it does take a few goes usually to be able to get through one full take. <laughs> And this is one of the many songs that we've chosen to perform on Sing It Live that has a fade out in the original. So what do we do? I reckon the bass on those notes doesn't work quite. Yeah, I reckon. Something oh. of, Yeah, maybe. Dun, 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 I reckon it's C. Dun, dun. Let everyone else do what they're doing and just do a C, I reckon. Okay, so we've figured out all of our bits that we need to. We're ready to press record. Now, it usually takes a few takes to be able to get that magic take. And thankfully, it's not in double figures. And honestly, I haven't been a part of a session where we've just done it in the first take. That'd be nice. Uh, maybe some of the ones that I haven't been involved in might have been, but I think it took us from memory three, maybe four, to be able to get through. And that was good for me that it wasn't more than that because my lips were really starting to shed. Because uh, playing trumpet is, you know, it's a skill that you've got to be able to keep on top of or else you start to lose it. Losing your lip, as Danny Kerry said. But yeah, here's a short snippet to hear what it sounds like in the room. So then once it's recorded, we all leave and then Darren needs to do all of the hard yards in making sure it's all sounding the best and looking the best. So can you do us all a favour and show some appreciation for Darren in the comments? You can say, thanks, mate, like an Australian that we are or whatever you want to say. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's a bunch of other behind the sounds videos here on the Crafty Music's YouTube channel. And of course, with the name Crafty Music Tips, it's a YouTube channel jam packed full of many different musical subjects that I hope that you can find something helpful for you. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the Sing It Live channel. You'll get the updates. You'll just be a part of the big happy family that we all are. We are family! And speaking of a happy family, if you're someone that watches the Crafty Music Tips channel regularly, thank you, and there's plenty more where that comes from. So, without any further ado, I'll see you in another one really soon. Until then, just remember that whatever you're doing with your music, you don't have to do every single thing right now. Just do the next thing. We'll see you soon.
Cheers.